PMG Radio. Respect your jaw. We're starting. We're, going, we're starting with a bang. We're going to talk about R. Kelly. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Now, I mean, R. R. Kelly seems seem to have found himself in, in the news for his sexual proclivities. I hope I said that word right. Did I say that one right? Yeah, no Jay's our resident uh, <laughs> dictionary here. You know what I mean? Makes, you, me like, you know what I mean? But you know, um, this this story seemed to be a bit odd at first. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I first heard. I actually woke up to it. Mm-hmm. I woke up to uh, a headline that said R. Kelly is keeping girls hostage in sexual cult. Mm-hmm. Is that correct, or yeah. that that's like the premise of the that's story? Much, well, yeah. you, let's, I'm gonna let you take this one because you would you 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 would know more about that that gossip than I would. You know, what I mean, you um, being a female here, not necessarily. Um, all I know is that the family of the girl called is it something savage? Um, Jocelyn, J- Jocelyn, Jocelyn savage, savage, I believe. Yeah, right, I've so seen they, that. So they did like a little press, a conference. press conference yesterday. No, no. Let, let let's be clear. It was one of the oddest press conferences i've ever seen <laughs> in my life <laughs> but yeah nevertheless they did it right and you know they were saying that um, it was her parents and i guess some family members and other girls who claimed that they were also part of this cult at one point in time so long story short they were saying how she's being held against her will and that everything um that she says and does is pretty much controlled by r kelly and that um yeah, basically, she's been with him. She's not contacting them anymore. They can't reach her. They just want her to be released. And they also said that she, that they think she's going through Stockholm Syndrome right now, too. But anyway, apart from that, um, what I saw today is that she had released a video basically saying, I'm not being held against my will. Via which outlet? Uh, damn, well, I saw it on TMZ. The all... The- <laughs> Let me tell you something. If there's anybody who can find someone <laughs> in this where. world, it's TMZ, I man. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> but if you put somebody to say, hey, we need to find a needle in a haystack. If the right story is attached to that needle, TMZ will find it. Believe oh, that. But go ahead. The all knowing eyes and ears of TMZ found this young lady. Right, so they found her, you know, and they asked her questions like, are you being held against your will? She said no. Um, she said that there's nothing that's going on there that she doesn't want to do or participate in. You know, she, everyone's treated fairly pretty much or not fairly. She didn't even say that. She was just saying we're all just here. Like nobody's keeping us here. But she wouldn't disclose the location and she wouldn't say or anything Or who about, she with. Or, yeah, she wouldn't say anything about Once again, a very, a very odd interview to say the least. <laughs> This have you been um, up to, up to up to to to, to the snuff with this story, JC? JC's face I got time right for that shit. Yeah, JC, what's up with your man R. Kelly? J- JC's our resident R. Kelly guru. I saw him perform live. Radio, He's still a great yeah. performer. You know what I mean? Great musician. What's up with your man, yo? He ain't doing what? What? They're all legal, right? Stick up, stick up for your guy. That's Not right, to say yeah. the reality, he didn't do anything wrong. Like I don't see this. I think it's a bunch of nothing. Like, sorry. Now, the girl who, um, who I guess spoke at the press conference was like, she was basically saying, you know, I used to be part of the cult too, and it took a lot for me to one day be able to you know, pick up and leave. And she was saying that there's a lot of stuff that goes on there that you know no parent would want their child to be going through. She said that. Um, they would have to ask if they can go to the bathroom, ask if they could leave to go to the other room. They would right. have to, they were basically, she was basically saying that because of his fame, he's able to influence them to the point where he manipulates them. And basically well, let, well, let, 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 let's, let's backtrack a little bit, a little bit on that. Buzzfeed actually broke the story. Okay. There's a columnist for Buzzfeed, a journalist, I mean, who had been, uh, I guess, quote unquote, investigating this. He said for nine months, I heard his interview on high 97 with Ebro. And he said he had been investigating this story for about nine months. And then the, uh, the, the, the culmination of facts that he had were laid out in his BuzzFeed article. Go read it for yourself. It's a very in-depth article. It ain't like it's just like, you know, a quick little, you know, boom, boom, boom. He really, like, taps into all aspects of the, of the story. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, where do we start with this? All right, um, one, we all know R. Kelly's a sexual weirdo. That's nothing new. We've known that since the early days, right? I mean, I guess 
you know, it's crazy. They always say there's a thin line between genius and insanity. I guess that's what makes his music so amazing because I would listen to shit like, you know, um, In My Jeans and Sex Me and all of these songs. And I'd be like, how the fuck does this nigga come up with this shit? And a lot of people don't know he wrote In My Jeans. And I knew that listening to it because that's a song only R. Kelly could write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I Before I even looked at the credit, I said, R. Kelly wrote this. Because only his mind goes there. You understand what I'm saying? He's a musical genius. No, man. he truly is. Like, we kid, there's nothing you can I'm do sorry. to take that away from the man. The man is a genius when it comes to that pen. Right. You know what I mean? We know that. Okay, but that aside, when it comes to his sexual life, we know he that he is batshit nutty. When If anybody has seen the tape, the infamous tape, that he has denied his whole life. <laughs> nigga, we know it's you. Like, nigga, yeah. that's, like, nigga, that's you. You know what I mean? And um, truth be told, <laughs> he introduced me to ass eating. I didn't even know what that was until I watched that tape. You know what I mean? Pause in the homo for those type of niggas out there. But... You know, R. Kelly was the ass-eating bandit in the early 90s, and that was before it was natural. Cool, you know what I mean? Like, he set that off. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we know that, man. We know that. We knew that from the time that he was dating Aaliyah when she was a teenager and he was pushing 30. Or in his 30s already. I believe he's been in his 30s since the 90s. They talking about he's 40-something now. Nigga, please. I believe he's pushing 60 if you ask me. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just my personal opinion. That does not reflect the views of PMG Radio, the co-host here. But um, that's, that, that's, that's where I want to start at. I also want to go further and say that if you've ever seen the infamous Torre interview that he did following the acquittal of um, charges against him for child pornography, because that's what he went to trial for. He went to trial for child pornography after the leak tapes came out. He was acquitted on those charges, then did a BET, I believe it was a BET, it was MTV at the time. What was Torre at? I think Tor- it was Torre, it was MTV? It had to be MTV. He, believe- he did a Torre interview at the time. <laughs> that still <laughs> makes me chuckle to this day thinking about it. And um, Torre asked him a simple question that has since come out on social media. Do you like teenage girls? And, and his answer was beyond reprieve. He, this nigga said, well, what do you mean by teenage <laughs> oh, yeah, girl? Torre, Torre then goes on to look at him like, nigga, I'm trying to give you an out here. And you're not taking it. Yeah? Like, <laughs> oh, like, nigga, I'm trying to help you out right now. Yo. Just it. say no. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, this all up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you said Tori's face this look was in awe. Like, like Tori just looked Bro. like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, like, <laughs> like what do you right, mean yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're clearly guilty. You need, have, you need to have a retrial. Like, this shit is all fucked up. <laughs> so, if you did not know at that point in time that R. Kelly was sexually nutty, then I don't know what else to tell you. So, does this story surprise me? Absolutely not. Do I believe it? Absolutely, yes. Are these girls being held against their will? I don't believe that. Is there a cult? I don't believe that. Are they being brainwashed? I don't believe that. These are grown fucking women. Period. I know I think they said one of them is 18. Now, are they at the point of being manipulated? Yeah, they're young. They're young girls. They ain't like they're 30, 40 year old. Right, right. They're young girls. But you know, a man of his age well, and not all of them. Some of them are older, right? No? I think they said I one think is the, probably the older about, start. Like the mother. Yeah, I think when they, they, they didn't they say they have like mad, mad, yeah, the madam, yeah, the, 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 you know, the, yeah, they said she's the pushing house. thirty or whatever. Yeah. But you know, um, are they at the age where they can be manipulated? Yeah, of course they're young. You know, they're young. They're around a rich, famous person. Yeah, hell yeah, he can manipulate you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I don't believe that he has to go that far. I mean, I'm sure there are a whole truckload of women that will willingly sleep with R. Kelly whenever he wants. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be real. He is a famous singer mm-hmm. that has tons and tons of groupies that are still rubbing their pussy to his music till his day. Right? I think we all know that. That's just a fact. Right. So I'm not going to go that far to say that this man has to go through the, 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 the leaps and bounds to uh, brainwash women to sleep with him. I wonder, you remember the chick that was supposed to be moving there with her husband? Like, her husband was mad that she was trying to move. Oh, okay, I wonder, okay, was she moving right. there to be a part of the cult? Yeah, so, huh? I wonder, was she moving there to be yeah, a part of the cult? Yeah, a good point. Yeah, she made her husband quit his job yeah, from whatever state move they were to, or move to wherever. Atlanta so she could be close to R. Kelly. Ah. Only thing that seems peculiar to me is that nobody seems to know what his address is. 
<laughs> I thought he still lived in Chicago. I mean, even a girl who did a press <laughs> conference, she said to a location not too far from me. I don't know the address, <laughs> but it's not. What the fuck do you mean? No, you I think he's, he's got, he's got yeah, more than one dope. location. There's more than one location. But they said the location that they was at, he don't live there no more. No more. They, he moved. He right, moved. Then she said, well, <laughs> I, I was at another stay. location not too far you from here. I don't still. know the address, though. You can't stay still. Come on. Well, what the fuck does he do? He, he blindfolds you from the airport? Like, what does he do? Like, hey. You don't know where you're at? Possibly. <laughs> you know, I, don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, that guy's good. Like, you know, if he could do that, then yeah, he's pretty good. And you know, um I mean I'm not saying I'm not saying I believe that they're brainwashed or anything. The term cult is very is very, I think, is subjective in a sense because there's there's been many people who've had cults like freaking what is it, Dr. Malachi York apparently. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of women who came out saying that they felt manipulated by him. They respected him so much that he was able to, you know what I mean, make them buy into this dream he was kind of selling them. So if 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 girls are impressionable enough to to get with the program, whatever it may be, and you've got enough people doing it, yeah, then you you can kind of say it's a cult. Cult, cult is a strong word. Man. It depends, though, because to me, really is a to me, do you know word. why? That's why I said it's subjective. Hey, the the thing is, with a cult, right? The thing is, <laughs> I want to know. With a cult, isn't it? Um, there has to be like a common belief. There has to be something that you guys like. All cults stand eventually for. die for something. I feel like. <laughs> I, mean, this is like, I feel like ultimately they end up yeah, dying but, for but, some but, shit. No, but there's sexual cults. There are sexual oh, cults. See, I, I didn't know. I swear to God, well, I if there know. is, I want to know where it's at. Mark Kelly's house. Sign me up. Where that comes at? I want in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you're. I've never heard that shit before. Never heard that in my life. You know what I'm saying? No, but like I said, man, and let's 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 and let's let's acknowledge another fact: there have been no criminal charges, or have there been, or has there been any litigation? Yeah, yeah, there might not be any litigation because they probably just can't find the motherfucker to serve him, right? But you know what I mean. But yeah. um, he's still that, torn. They better show up at one of his doors. That that <laughs> so and follow that nigga back like, somewhere, right? Yeah. And um, and you know, um, but I, I I just think you know what, man? I think there is some there is some truth to the story. I believe that, but I do believe it has been exaggerated on some levels. Like, I don't believe that he's standing at the door literally holding these women against their women. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't right. believe. I'm sorry. Right, I just right, don't right, think he has right, to do that. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? I don't think he has to do that. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure with the anyone that wants to leave, he can replace her with five right. in a fucking cell. Right. I mean, even the girl you know in the press mean? conference, she said that she got the strength to leave, which means he let you leave. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like he's, you're bound there. Right. It's just probably, manip- it's probably manipulation. It's That's probably, probably how he's going to avoid prosecution. Because he's not. Well, holding he's going to avoid prosecution because they're fucking adults. Yeah, period. That like the, um, that's like that's the end of the case right there. Unless they can prove the younger ones started at the age <laughs> below, no, before they became yeah. legal. That's the only way they can probably try I think to do in something. Georgia, though, the age of consent is sixteen. I think. Oh well, shit. They're in fucked. Georgia, but I don't know if they're fucked because they're not. You know what I'm saying? Um, <sighs> nah. You know them southern hick town states. You know you can marry your fucking niece down there. You know what I mean? So, I didn't say that. He said that. I'm just saying. It's, it's like, we got We have to keep it. That's probably why he moved from Chicago to Georgia because at the age of the That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But you know, in the South, the age of consent. Some in some southern states, the age of consent is 14. That's you know what I mean? I think in Mississippi. Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody out there? But I believe in Mississippi or or um is it? Mississippi or Alabama, one of them. I believe the age of consent is 14 years old. That's crazy. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, listen, man. I haven't been able to listen to some of his music since I watched the tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that that was a child in that tape, period. And it, and it rubbed me the wrong way. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you, you think about that and you think about, well, what if that was your sister or, or, or somebody you, you, you cared about? Mm-hmm. And you have this grown man. And even at the time of the tape, he was pushing 40. Mm-hmm. He was a grown man. He wasn't like some young grown man. Mm-hmm. He was a grown, grown man. Damn. You feel me? He had to be at least 35. When, was the tape? when did the tape come out? Uh, 2004? Yeah, it had to be around that time. 04, 05? Around that time? He was he was in his mid-30s, at least, around that time. And this girl was 14 years old. Yo, he's been doing this shit for like 15 years. 15 the most. 
Hmm. He's been doing this shit for my whole lifetime, yo. Yeah. <laughs> and mind you, like they always say, the ones you see ain't always the only ones. Oh, of course. You feel me? It's never like with these kind of guys, it's never the ones. It's, if that's the one you saw, then you know it's more than that. You know what I mean? So, um, so like I say, man, um, we always known that he's he's a little bit off the rails when it comes to his sexual activities. But this story here, I I, I think you know, for the sake of the people involved, the, you know, the narrative just needs to be a little bit more honest. Because we can't take it serious if you're telling me, you know, he's holding women and kiss their will. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just going to laugh at that. Like, all right. Come on. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, like R. Just, Kelly's holding women. Right. Like, he don't got shit else to do, though. Right. Like, he don't got shit else to do. It more sounds like people, you know, I mean, he's got a particular lifestyle that some people just don't agree with and wouldn't choose for themselves. Those girls are but are yeah, accusing them right. to reference. Like, no, no, but who I'm, knows I'm glad Eliza went there. Is it up to us to agree with it, though? That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, that's that's their choice. Obviously, for parents, I guess you're allowed to be concerned about your ch- children's decisions, whatever. Of course. But f- to, for the rest of us, if that's what he chooses to do, which seems to be the case... Um, and the girls, that's what they choose to do. Then, like, who, I'm not going to say who are we to judge, but that's their business. <laughs> right, right. How they many of them is there? Huh? How many? I don't know. Allegedly four or five or whatever. You know what I mean? But, you know. Um, it's not even big enough for a cult. You got to have at least, like, ten, right? Ten, you have a cult, like, limit? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it got to be, like, a minimum, <laughs> like, a mandatory a minimum. minimum like, <laughs> to be classified. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like ten. <laughs> five. Yeah, five. Yeah. Five. yeah. Yo, the nigga, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta go back to this. The nigga Torrey said, Do you like young teenagers? <laughs> that nigga said, Well, what do you mean by teenagers? <laughs> Uh, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, so he was serious. Like, he was dead he was serious. serious too, straight yeah. face. Like. <laughs> He's a uh, uh, somebody find Tori for me. I got to ask him, like, what was going through his mind when that nigga answered that question? Because yeah? Tori was clearly like, he was doing it for the black people across America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, nigga, I'm giving you an out right now. You're not taking it, yo. Yeah? Like, <laughs> that's why he's out of his fucking mind now. Can you keep trying to defend him? Like, <laughs> but you know what? That aside, man, does it take away from the music? Absolutely not, nah. man. The, the, the dude is iconic when it comes to the music, man. Still selling out concerts mm-hmm. around the world. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to believe a man who could pack out a venue of 50,000 females. Mm-hmm. Probably about two dudes in the whole building. <laughs> and they did with their girlfriends because they mm-hmm. got drunk there because they ain't have no female friends to go with them. Mm-hmm. And they didn't want to get a ticket away. <laughs> oh, but gosh. you got a venue of 50,000 females screaming for this man. So I'm sorry. I don't believe that he has to do anything beyond saying, hey, you come through to get females oh, over. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, young girls, yeah, the pressure. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe he, he's, he's dangling a few carrots in front of him. Okay, that's, that's cool, but it's not illegal. It's not illegal, and you know I don't. I don't think that it it warrants this kind of attention. Quite honestly, that's just my personal yeah, opinion. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it. I don't. I don't think. It, what do you think? Like, do you think this warrants this, this this attention that he's he's getting right now for it? Um, I don't think it. In general, the concept. Do you believe it? I didn't no, but ask listen, you that. Huh? Do, do you I believe it? I don't. I mean, I don't believe that he's holding people against his will. I mean, against their will. Right. Um. Yeah. So no, I don't believe that. But, but do you do you believe he has a house full of young females that he's manipulating and, and, and brainwashing and all of that stuff to keep them his sex slaves? That's hard. I, that's really hard for me to say. That's hard for me to say. I don't know, man, because. I don't know. I don't know. You just don't know what goes on behind people's closed doors. You know what I mean? There's regular dudes who aren't celebrities who do stuff like that. There's, there's like, like there, there's a, uh, say that again. You saw what goes on behind <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't say yes and I can't say no. It's, mm. there's, a, there's a chance that he could be and he may not be. Like, I guess we'll see what happens. But I know, I know. There's, def- like there's definitely men. Slave? No. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. I just wonder if that nigga needed an assistant. No, but Yo, this, word this, up, man. I'm, I'm willing to apply for that job. But man. hold on, word wasn't it?